Capricorn, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Now, beautiful soul, we want to remind you that everything's working out best case scenario for you. Whenever you don't feel like it's working out for you, it's merely because you're going through a particular lesson that's necessary for you to, be, you to be ready from that experience, for you to be ready for what's to come next, whatever you've asked for. If it's for love, if it's for money, um, it's for it, more success, uh, respect, honor, whatever it is, health, losing weight, whatever you've asked for, whatever, 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 the universe is always going to serve you, right? And so that's why it's important to always be mindful that when you are in a state of adversity or in a state of uh, difficulty, um, it's because through that contrast, you're going to be gaining insights and clarity towards um, putting attention towards your intention, if you will. I don't even know what I'm saying. But anyway, don't even worry about it. It's all for the greater picture. Um, basically, there's a relationship here in your life. And we see that this relationship is a relationship that's going to create an amazing, amazing connection to the abundance that you've asked for. This is a heart connection. And this relationship that you're with um, is, um, is, is helping you and showing you and guiding you your inner will, your inner strength. So who's ever showing up and who's ever part of your life is somebody that is um, a significant player um, in your uh, progression and in your expansion as the people in our life generally are, are the people that are closest to us are our greatest teachers. They're our greatest teachers. My husband is my greatest teacher. I'm grateful for him every single day. Through, through, through dense and through light, you know, it, it, he's always showing me myself and, and he's always teaching me about energy and, and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And when we start to really value who we have in our lives, um, whomever they may be, and we see their energy and we start to read and learn about energy and it helps us understand ourselves more because we always get what we give. Right? So if you're getting a dense energy back from somebody, you can tell that it's because you're giving dense energy. So it's not them, it's how you show up. So it's really nice for us to be able to evolve in our lives from that standpoint of our, the people closest to us are our greatest teachers. Be grateful for everything, honestly, because when you're grateful for everything, things show up. You always want to look at energy as like a dog, right? Because when you look at a dog and when you play with the dog with genuine love in your heart and en good energy, that dog loves you back, right? But if you're fearful around a dog, a dog is going to be fearful and act in ways that are that that represent that, right? If the dog is confident, they're going to walk all over you. If the dog is a fearful dog, then they're going to try they're going to bark at you, right? But it's whatever energy you're giving. Same thing when it comes to our our love and our money and and stuff like that. Whatever energy that we're giving to um, a thought, a, 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 an environment, a situation, right? Um, we're going to receive that same energy back, right? So if you're looking at your um, career or like your life or your purpose from a sense of, um, well, separation, um, then you're going to feel separated, right? It's, it's just kind of how it goes. So we want you to sw flip the script here, Cap, and we want you to remember that you create your life. We want you to dream your world into being. This is your affirmation. I imagine myself living my ideal life. I imagine myself living my ideal life. What is your ideal life? Really, what is your ideal life? What is it something that you would imagine your life you want it to be? Because no matter what, beautiful soul, the abundant universe will always provide for you. But if you're not used to living your life with a deliberate creation or a deliberate creator awareness, um, and you fall into the dense energies of the past, you got to clear your energy. Capricorn, you got to wake up and move your body. It's just a non-negotiable. It, it really is. You got to wake up and you got to move, whether that's going for a walk, whether that's getting an exercise in at home, whether it's going to the gym, you've got to wake up and move your body because it will clear your energy and you will feel light. And right now we feel like you need to feel light because there's a transformational process happening and the universe is asking for you to connect deeper to your spirit with that hermit in reverse. We feel like you're having a hard time navigating through this changing of energy. Um, and we just feel like you're feeling really uh, disconnected from yourself. This is a part of the process, by the way. It's almost like we have to forget to remember. We have to almost forget who we are to remember who we are. And we go through moments of, a, of significant adversity to do that. Um, maybe you went through a, a breakup or maybe you're just going through some really difficult times in your relationship. 
But guess what, beautiful soul? All that's going to do is lead you to a time of understanding, of clarity, of growing new beginnings. So that Empress and the Six of Pentacles is about um, having new um, opportunities arise for you. And this is always how it's going to be. Look at this, Nine of Cups, right? Wishes fulfilled and desires coming to fruition. You never have anything to worry about. Never, never, never. The only uh, awareness you want to have is what state of frequency you're in, right? What frequency you're in. We want you to be at peace. We're going to use this as a, learn as, a, as a learning experience right now. You notice how my energy is totally off right now. I'm just really ungrounded. My energy is very rushed. I feel very rushed. I feel um, more serious. I'm very tense in my messages and my delivery. Um, and it's because uh, I did not follow my non-negotiable uh, this morning of waking up and moving. That's why I'm very passionate about it because this is what happens. You see how I am. You feel how I am. I'm, I feel more if, uh, agitated, right? I want you to feel this energy, see this energy. This is what happens when we don't clear our energy. When we have a lot of energy from overconsumption, overthinking, uh, and we don't have a way of clearing it, this is what it feels like. We feel anxious. So we just want you to understand how important it is. That's why I always wake up and move my body. I always wake up and work out. We really encourage you to do the same thing because it will help you to, to connect to your true self. It will help you connect your true self. You'll know what I'm talking about. If you exercise, if you wake up and exercise, you know you know, you know, if you don't, you don't know. And you should, you deserve to know. You deserve to know how good it feels to wake up and exercise. Now, again, you don't want to be attached to this. So it means you don't want to over-exercise. You know, you really only need 30 minutes max, 15 if you're, if you're new, right? But you want to do something that gets your heart rate going. Um, otherwise, you know, your frequency is going to be low and you're going to feel like you're missing out on opportunities. You're going to feel like opportunities are not here for you. Oh, so not the truth. It, it's amazing how much abundance we actually have readily available for us. And all we have to do is feel good enough to be able to receive it. So right now, because you're in this state of maybe feeling a little disheartened, missing opportunities, that's okay. It's, it's these moments that guide us into the new. So even though you may be going through a bit of a pause, maybe going through a bit of a, uh, a lower energy, don't worry because clarity and insight is going to come in from that. And it's this you're going to be inspired to do something. You're going to be inspired to act on something. And again, we would encourage you to always follow your impulses, always follow your inspirations. Just don't connect to the outcome as if it's going to be so, because as you evolve your frequency, your, the outcome of what you think it's going to be is going to change greatly. All you're asked is to be present in every single moment and to be, to readily respond off of Okay, like how this looks is this. The other day I was called to change my hair. All of a sudden I was really inspired to look up hairstyles. And I was like, oh, this is new because I've just been kind of letting it grow. I haven't been putting any attention into it at all. Just total let go, right? Spirit says, okay, now it's time. So I was putting energy into different hairstyles. And I was feeling out the process of which hairstyle resonated with me. And uh, I always connect to the white blonde. I always connect to a short hairstyle. Um, that's just my spirit personally. Um, and so um, looking up different hairstyles, and which, which led me down the road of most likely dyeing it myself, most likely doing it myself. As creatives, we like to do things ourselves. Um, so uh, I like to do things myself. And so I'm looking up into it. I don't know what hairstyle I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have yet, um, but... It's going to be something that um, it, it's all going to come together. It's going to feel right. So what I'm doing is I'm not overthinking it. I'm also not staying online, continuously looking up different hairstyles. Which one is it going to be? Is it going to be this? Is it going to be this? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to feel inspired to look up hairstyles. When I'm not inspired anymore, I'm going to let it go. I'm be like, okay, I've learned enough. I've collected enough data. I'm going to let it go. We just want to remind you of that, right? When you feel inspired, do it. When you don't feel inspired, don't do it. Don't stay fixated on it. Don't stay attached to it. Your mind is a very, um, you know, a powerful weapon. And we want you to use your mind wisely. And that means that if your intellect and logic comes in and tries to decode and decipher and figure out, you've lost yourself. You've lost yourself entirely. This entire universe is operated off of feeling. And if energetically something doesn't feel inspiring, satisfying, good, um, then you can tell it's not, it's, it's, it's not meant for you to fixate anymore. So let that feeling of inspiration guide you and let go of whatever doesn't. Universe's message, you glow, we beam, thanks. Universe says, in case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of your wings. It's your wings that are so large because of your heart. Sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy. Thanks for all you've shared, the universe. This will happen to us empaths. 
Capricorn, don't get lost in the energy here. We do this, we get attached, we love, we are compassionate, we are kind, but sometimes it's almost too, not to a fault, but to an energetic attachment. That's what we want to say to you. So if you wake up, if you exercise, your relationships will evolve, your higher self connection will become stronger, you will attract more money, and you will be glowing. It's just how it works because you clear that energy. The type of exercise is going to be dependent on what your spirit connects with. So it's going to be absolutely DIY for you to go through the journey of discovering exercises. If you've been exercising the same way for a very long time, we do encourage you to open up and try other things so that you can collect data and learn yourself even further. It's through experience that we are able to know ourselves. So never hesitate, never fear a journey, welcome it because it's going to lead you greater, deeper, and more securely to what it is that you are looking for. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.